All right, fishing guide, fishing guide. All right, so how do you get fish into an aquarium, right? So you have fish slots here. How do you get fish, All right? There's a fishing system. It's in this tab, fishing. How does the fishing system work? Kind of complicated, actually. All right. So the basic basic thing is first you gotta go to the shop, right? You gotta buy the basic rod, the green one, for a thousand gold, right? Once you have that, you can buy the basic bait at level one. This is just a general bait, and then you can buy a total of 350 fishing bait per week, right? I don't know if Global is gonna get this update on day one, because day one on CN it was like. 30 per day and then they updated it to 350 per week so we might get this off the bat or could be the old version we don't know yet all right so you just buy a bunch of fishing bait buy the green rod and go fishing right this first tab will just have your bait and your rods and your current level right every fish that you get depending on rarity will give you a different amount of xp and then as you level up you unlock new things in the in the in the fishing shop. So there is a a blue rod, a purple rod, and a gold rod. And at level eight, there is these these hats, cosmetics, glasses, right? And then there's right, avatar. This is an avatar, right? This is a common pitfall for Chinese players. You get to unlock this. People think this is a golden rod. That's not the gold rod. This is the gold rod. Okay, this is just an avatar to flex. Don't buy this and mistake it for a golden rod. Um, this is your avatar frame and chat box. How do you get these fish tokens? You get the, the fishing currency by selling fish. So I forgot to sell my fish. Whoops. When the fish you get are fresh, right? They go into the first tab. Fresh fish go into the first tab, right? Only the fresh fish you can put inside your aquarium. So if you Fish them out day one, right? The same day before the server reset, they will be alive, right? By the time the server resets, the daily reset happens, they will go into this and their value will drop by 30% and then their value continues dropping to 40% and this will be 10% original value. So if I sell these now, they are practically worthless, even a fish king. Right, gold ones are fish king. And then we talk about the fish market mechanism, right? Over here on the right side, every type of fish here will have a market value for the day. It doesn't tell you the actual value. It just tells you that it's up by 76 or down by 79. In China, red means up, green means down. It's opposite. I am sure 10 cent localization won't change it around for us, but I don't know, maybe they change it around, but uh, just read, read, read this, right? Don't look at the colors, read it. Fish has different price. They have their base value and then it goes up by a percentage or down by a percentage, right? And then there's all the fish over here. And then this over here in the middle tells you where the fish is on the map. And it also tells you at what time zone or time frame, right? This is all your current local time. The fishing window will, will shift as your server time changes, right? There's Vera, there's Artificial Island, there's Asperia, there's different spawns. And then over here is the Fish King system, right? When you fish for any fish, there is a chance for you to get Fish King, a, ver a heavy fish, right? A heavy variant, gold variant. And then as you can see, this is a heavy fish. This is Fish King for this goldfish looking thing. The normal one is a lot smaller in your aquarium and does not have special effects. How does the fish king system work, right? When you fish them up, they will have a random weight, much heavier than normal, right? This is a regular version, 0.85 kilograms. This thing, 15.73 kilograms. When you get fish king, they will have, they will be harder to get because they have uh, higher endurance. They have higher stamina. When you do get them, your weight, the weight of your fish is recorded and uh, you are competing with your entire server on who gets the heaviest fish for that week. And then this is all the current, this is all the, all the fish for this week. This one is last week's winner. This one is this week's current winner, right? So a fishing PVP system. And what's the point of this, right? What's the point of this? The point of this 
is if you got the fish king for the week, you will get an avatar to show everyone, to flex to everyone that you got the heaviest fish, right? This avatar is permanent, right? I have two, right? Honestly, that's about it. If you care about the avatar, otherwise you just sell the fish for whatever coins, right? Fish king gives you a lot more fish coins and a lot more XP. Right. So your your goal, I guess, if you if you want to get all the fish king avatars is to find the fish you want and then just uh, buy the right fishing bait. There's like fish specific fishing bait right? that has a higher chance of getting that type of fish. And then you find the actual fishing spot and you spam it. But when you're trying to grind the fishing levels at the beginning, right, this is the best way to do it. You look for a fish, the highest possible tier of fish you can find that has a huge increase in value. So, for example, I don't know this one up by 79 percent and then you find the same fish which is right here right you go to the fishing spot this tells you it's in the uh, confounding abyss so then you go over there you can fish anywhere as long as there's water but you want to fish at the designated fishing spot for a higher chance of the fish that you want fishing spots are marked on the map there is a filter system for it right i don't know if we're gonna get the filter system on day one it wasn't available day one Right, so here's the fish, and there's the fishing spot. You can navigate to it, right? And then there's a fishing spot, and you just go fish, right? Let's use a better fishing spot, actually. The prices will change daily. And then this is what you should be doing. You look for the highest price, high tier fish you can, highest tier fish you can get. Because fish has different rarity. So the higher tier fish, the more dark crystals you get. So collecting, so getting the fish the first time unlocks it on this page. And then you can claim for dark crystals. It's 5, 10, or 20, I believe, for the three different types of fish. So there is dark crystal for this. And then the shop is just a shop with the different types of fishing bait. Very end game. You can fish for elemental rocks. I don't know why. Or, or gear XP crystals. I don't know what other things we might get on the global shop. If you are in the open world, right, you can directly navigate to these fishing spots, right? If I am in Esperia, I can click navigate. I guess we go for this one. We go for this one and then we find it, the same fish, navigate. And then it'll tell you where the spot is. Which is very far away. So I guess we're going here. Yep, you can fish everywhere, even in the underwater new map. I guess probably not underwater. So normal fishing is basically... Wait, you can press F now? Wow. This was not a thing. I don't know if Global's gonna get this day one. But yeah, you equip... You equip your rod, you equip the right bait for the right fish, and then you press this button over here. Aim into the hole, into the fishing spot. Press 1 to fish. You can. There's a hotkey for this now, holy. This is new CN feature, I don't know if we're gonna get it. There was no hotkey for fishing, by the way. And then you press uh, A and D to make sure your rod is centered. The left side is the the stamina on the fish. The right side is the endurance of your fishing rod or your fishing line. If that thing goes down to zero, your fish goes away. If this thing go when this the left side goes to zero, you can press uh, this button here to pull in your fish. And there we go. You get the fish. This is the one that we're looking for, right? And then now you look at the price of it. This thing sells for 2,147. The fishing bait costs 50, right? And then this is how you, you get XP and then you sell it for more coins. This is how you accumulate coins to buy other stuff. And then how to easily fish in Asperia. There's, apparently this only works in Asperia now, but Merrill Trait. Merrill Trait can create ice, obviously. And then you find a group of people, right? Maybe do like fishing Merrill Hole Taxi and tell the type of fish you're trying to get. Have people come and uh, you create a hole. I think I think this is good enough. You can create a hole with two people, but it, it requires uh, some precise movement. I mean, this is good enough, right? As long as it's pretty tight, it's good. Okay, and then you uh, go into this menu, press this. All right, that's good, right? And then you fish, and hopefully this works. It's not patched. Let's see. 
right? And now you can semi AFK, right? If you have a good enough rod, right? The fish won't go anywhere inside the hole. And then you can do whatever you want. Wait for the fish stamina to go down and then reel it in. Right, and then you you have a group of people AFKing here, but like uh, I don't know, man. Global players are, are somewhat evil. It it takes one guy to ruin a fishing spot, one guy with a, with Merrill trait to stand on in the middle of the hole to uh, ruin the fishing spot. So, like right there, there we go. Now it's ruined. It takes one guy. Don't be this guy, okay? Don't be this guy. Imagine. All right. Should I say this? I'll fucking say it. Imagine you're trying to be the fish king for the server. You get a fish king. You are the, you are number one. Now you can create a bunch of fucking alts and block every fishing spot to guarantee your fish king. Okay, this is a fish king. Perfect. This is a perfect example. This is per this is a fish king. Twenty one. So fish king has higher stamina, right? So make sure you have a good rod when you. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Fish king zero. Reel it in. This is a fish king. 15.05 kilograms and then you get a fish king you check over here right it's in your inventory now um you go over to info you find the type of fish right this is the same fish this guy has a 19.77 kilogram for this week no way i'm winning so now this is useless but if you're not in a rush to get your coins make sure you check the info tab because right now this type of fish price is 88% lower than normal than base price. So if you get it, if you get a fish that's like very undervalued today, it is better if you wait till the next day when it decreases by 30% in value and you hope that the, the fish stonks will go up and then you sell it the next day, right? Don't sell it the, don't sell it the day of if the price is really bad. Sell the stuff that is actual good value. Make sure you check here before you sell. And also make sure you sell it on the second day because this is what happens if you don't sell it on the second day. They all go to the last last tier and it's only 10% of the original value. So yeah, don't, don't, don't be like me. Don't be like me. Can we just not do it? I mean, of course you can. This is optional content. There's free dark crystals here. You don't have to do it, right? This is some free, this is like end game MMO content. You don't have to do it. How many dark crystals is there? Each new green fish is five. Blue fish is 10. And purple fish is 20, I believe. Fish King doesn't give you extra. Fish King just gives you extra XP to level up. Oh, and the different tier of rods, they just have different stamina. So if I equip the, the basic rod, green one starts at, I'm pretty sure, 30 stamina. Yeah, green rod is 30. But yeah, you do need, you do need a better rod because some Fish King has more stamina than your than your endurance on the fishing line so you do need to upgrade your rod you need you need a bigger better longer harder rod to get the fish king yep blue is 45 so it's a plus 15 and purple is 55 right and then the gold rod is kind of kind of a scam gold rod is only 60 but you know might as well get it what else are you going to use your your currency for right, i need i need level eight for this right you can you can change your bait as well like this over in this menu once you get fish right you can put them into your fish tank your or your aquarium so this is the aquarium right i have one fish this is a fish king with the special effect this is your this is your food tab this is your fish tab this is a regular sized fish you can put it in it is tiny it is tiny no special effects and then this is a fish king much bigger it's massive and there's gold special effects on it once you put it in though you can't take them out so just just know that if you put in an expensive fish it's gone all right the only way to get them out is to release them you click on it they gone forever um i don't know where they went but they're gone and the more fish you have here the faster your food depletes i'm gonna probably just get rid of this guy now goodbye goodbye my friend Hello, goodbye but yeah, since you can only keep four fish in here, make sure you put the fish that you like the most. Wait a second, you can put you can put eight fish now? Are you fing serious? Since when? I don't remember there being another tab. Since the first day? Really? You can starve four more fish? Let's go. I had no idea there was another tab. You can scroll over. Holy fing shit. This changes everything. I'm still only gonna keep one. I can't afford this fishing bait anymore. This fish food anymore. I killed three fish already.
But still, there's limited amounts. Pick which one you like. You can't have all of them. And that's the entire fishing system.